Hey guys, it's s 6 lukexx here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to uh, make this. And basically what this is, is it's a sprint button um, that's all down inside Kismet, that when the player pushes the Q button, it speeds them up to being twice as quick for 10 seconds before slowing them down to normal speed. Okay, so first of all, you're going to want to right click, new event, uh, what is it? Input key slash button pressed. Oh, this only works in um. I don't know whether it's the newest version. It only works in the newer versions. Uh, so if you've got one of the old ones, you need to upgrade. Anyway, then click on this key button pressed function, and in the input names, click the plus sign, and just type in Q and click enter. Uh, then scroll down. Max trigger count needs to be set to zero and the re-trigger delay also needs to be set to zero it can't be 0 0.01 like it usually is, it has to be zero um, then we need to right click new action misc and then go to console command uh, first of all we're going to link the pressed to the console command going to right click new variable n uh, player player and then click on the player and just set that to one player. Just unselect the all players and make sure the player index is set to zero. Uh, then in the console command, you're going to want to type in set speed space two. Oops. Two. If you were doing this in the uh, plain editor version, though, you would set that to 880 because that's uh, double the pawn ground speed but when you actually make the game it needs to be set to 2 because it actually stands for double speed then you want to copy that and right click the first one in the out link and set an active delay of 10 seconds plug that into the next one and here where it says set speed in the second console command put 1 and that returns it to normal speed Okay, after that, you're just going to want to copy that second one again and just paste it and put it above both of them. And then we're going to go to the key button pressed function. We're going to join the released function to the in of the console command here. And that means that when, if you're running and you let go of Q, you slow down. Okay, and just here where it says input name, new string variable. Q. Uh, actually, just delete that and put. Make sure you hold down. Uh, shift Q. So that's a capital Q, which makes it more interesting. Um, I think that should be it. Yep. Okay. Now let's close that. And I'm going to. I'll just. I'll show you what you do if you play it in part in the playing editor. That'll show you why it doesn't work. Wait for it to load. Oh, it's loaded it in the um, PC version, I think. Yeah, it has. Anyway, so I'll show you. If you walk in normally, normal speed. Hold down Q. Run faster, let go of Q. Slow down. A bit. Run faster. Okay. Now I'll just show you if you um, sprint for about 10 seconds, you should slow down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There you go, let's slow down. Uh, so that's that. Yeah. Uh, close this. Oh, I clicked the wrong one, that's why. Uh, now I'm going to show you the plain editor one. <laughs> now, if you spawn, you're running normally, you press Q, and look, you're still moving. But you're moving 440 times slower than normal. And it's not very good. So, um, that's basically it. Only last thing I might do is just have a quick show you what I've done. This is a, a new project that I'm doing now. 
No, I guess that's it. Um, if it doesn't work, leave me a message. Uh, just let me know, and I will get back to you straight away. Uh, that's it. I'll see you guys later. Toodles. <laughs>